this is Tim with rcnoob.com and we've got an unboxing video for you today. It is the Elfie from JJRC. This was sent to me from gearbest.com so I want to thank them for sending this uh, little drone my way. Uh, I'm not familiar with the JJRC brand so I will be learning as we go. Um, this is a folding camera drone and from the box, it looks like it is controlled via Wi-Fi connection to a smartphone. Looking at the back of the box, I do see that it has uh, an app for Android and iOS devices. So that's going to act as your remote control. And again, we'll get a little closer look at the box too. It can take selfies. Again, Wi-Fi, FPV control. Uh, should be able to hold altitude and it does have headless mode. That'll be another first for me. I haven't flown a quadcopter with headless mode before. Um, and the fact that this is a folding quadcopter, the, the arms are going to fold into it. Uh, it looks to be a very compact, very small, and very lightweight little machine. Um, definitely a small box. You know, my hand can cover it up fairly easily. So um, outside of that, there's really not a lot more information to go off of from, from the box. So let's uh, tear into this thing and see what it looks like. So we've got the top off the box. It's packaged nice and compact. It's a lot like an iPhone. If you're familiar with those, um, everything is all really sealed in there quite well. Um, when you open the box up, you see that you get a instruction manual, which I'm sure I will be using. Again, this is my first JJRC um, item, quadcopter. This is the quadcopter itself, and I think the tray might be heavier than the quadcopter. Um, very lightweight machine, wrapped in plastic. There's also a carrying case. A USB charger. And we also have some spare propellers. Okay, with the quadcopter free of all the packaging, let's take a closer look. It is a very, very lightweight quadcopter uh, aircraft whatever you want to call it, drone. Um, it, it's insanely lightweight. I wasn't kidding when I said I think the tray might be heavier than this device itself. Um, battery tray on the bottom. It's flown open on me a couple times when I flipped it open, but we'll have to make sure that is secure. Uh, the battery is inside already. We'll have to charge that up. It, it does run on a LiPo battery, and the LiPo battery is included, and that's all going to charge from that USB charger that we saw earlier. Now, uh, taking a closer look at the rest of the aircraft itself, your on-off switch is up at the top. Your arms are going to fold out like so. And this might be the biggest quadcopter that I've owned so far. It's even bigger than the um, Dromeda Kodo HD that I recently reviewed on the website. Uh, and that, that's a medium-sized quadcopter. Um, again, lightweight. It has four little feet on the bottom. This looks a lot different from any other quadcopter I've come in, in contact with. So show you the front. It's got a camera. Uh, LED lights are going to light up just to give you some indication of uh, front and back. The camera looks like it might be able to tip a little bit. Um, again, going off of the box, I haven't looked at the instructions yet. It does claim to have a selfie mode. It does claim to have the ability to auto hover. Um, this is not going to be a quadcopter that you're going to do stunts with or FPV race with. It's going to be a, qu a quadcopter that you're going to take photos and video with, um, at the very least photos with. So it should be fun, you know, regardless of, of you know, whatever you can do. And again, it's controlled by a smartphone and Wi-Fi connection, so there's no controller that comes with it. So really, we're done with this unboxing. Um, you know, everything that you see pretty much here and, and with the spare blades and the charger is what you get in the box. Comes with a nice little carrying pouch, and that's it, folks. Um, Price-wise, I did look at GearBest.com. This is around the $40 to $45 range. Um, not very expensive quadcopter. We will get the batteries charged up or the battery charged up on this and we'll be getting some flying video 
and some onboard footage, and we will have more for you on the JJRC Elfie in the future. So again, this has been Tim from rcnoob.com. If you like this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up. If you really like this video, please do subscribe to the channel. So with that, thank you for watching, and we will talk with you later.